The restaurant owners here in West Valley City say it seemed like a prank and what could have been a couple of misplaced dollars for one person for them. They say it could have put them out of business. It's just the three no ways working at their family restaurant in West Valley City. We aren't even able to actually have employees right now. We laid everyone off. Empty chairs and empty tables fill the room. While the Noways fill takeout orders. A couple nights ago, we actually had someone call in for an order, and their tab was almost about $100. That makes up about 10 to 14 sushi rolls made with fish shipped to them fresh the night before. Him alone made half the income for us that day. Ecstatic about the order, you can imagine Noway's surprise when she learned the customer wasn't answering their calls. We tried calling them from the restaurant phone after that. They started blocking it. So I tried calling from the manager line. They answered and said, oh yeah, we're going to come pick up the order. But they never came. And Noe says they never answered the phone again. Devastated, she called police. I knew there was no way for that. I can, I can fix their problem. Officer Danny Christensen with West Valley City Police responded to the call and surprised the family by purchasing the order. It was just upsetting to know that they had prepared all this food that was never going to get paid for. Officer Christensen's kindness is made even more notable because, well, he's not a sushi guy. I was able to provide some meals for some of my coworkers. It felt good to help them out at the time, um, and it, it helped me go about my day uh, in a lot better attitude. I want to thank him from the bottom of my heart. He has definitely helped a small business see much more faith. Now, thanks to Officer Christensen, Sumo is open another day. And for this family that owns the restaurant, they say that means the world to them. In West Valley City, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.